Hi guys, so I'm back with a book review. Actually, it's three book reviews. This is the second sweet bind up, which includes Dark Magic, Awakening, and Spellbound. Isn't it pretty? Um, a Magic Love, an Epic Betrayal, Power, Destiny, and Betrayal. I read, I started this last night. I read through it for several hours, about four and a half hours last night, and I finished an hour and a half, I think about an hour and a half today, and I read this entire thing of three books. I love the series. Um, the story is tells of a girl named Morgan Rowlands who discovers that not only is she adopted, which she did not know for almost 17 years of her life, but she is a blood witch. Her um, birth mother was an epic um, witch from the Woodbane uh, Coven. And this is just twists and turns who to trust, who not to trust, spells, um, natural healing, um, just so much stuff going on a lot of talk about religion and not even just like the wiccan and pagan stuff but catholicism um and there's also elements of family you know intertwined in this and it comes um it comes across very natural and very believable i know a lot of books like this uh, they don't talk too much about a family and what does their family think why is she always out at night and this and that they make kate turn and make sure she touches that element to make it more realistic that it could actually happen um so King Tiernan is absolutely my new favorite author that I've discovered I love 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 these books there's not much that I can tell you because I don't want to give everything away but um if you like suspense magic betrayal action um mystery and sort of like uh religion and history thrown into the mix then you will like sweep so definitely check out sweep this is the second bind up you can get this for it's only eight dollars for all three of the books and the first bind up is gold i should have grabbed this on my shelf um you can get both of them six books for sixteen dollars and i'm telling you you won't want to stop reading it's action-packed there's something happening on every page there's always something happening the thing that troubles me with so many books lately that I can't read is that nothing's happening. So if you're reading a book, something has to happen, right? So also, just as an aside, this is 5 out of 5 for all three books. Um, I don't review every single book I read. First of all, not everything I read I don't think you guys have an interest in. Um, a lot of books that I read are kind of like just fun nonfiction type, you know, kind of scanning books. Um, but I do track all the books that I read. I also don't want to do reviews on books that I couldn't read or I'm going to give one or two because I don't want to discourage you from trying a book out. We all like books for different reasons. We relate to the issue. We can't read about a certain issue because it's personal. We relate to a character, whatever it is. There's no such thing as a bad book. It's just you can't relate to a certain book. That book may change someone else. You may not be able to read it. So I just don't like to talk a lot about books that I can't read. Um, I've done it in the past and I wish that I hadn't so each month I'm going to try every month I've been keeping track of how many books I've been reading so this counts as three books it's three separate books I've been keeping track of that I'm gonna do a monthly recap my favorite book that I read of the month or maybe books since I read so much in the winter um, the least favorite book where I might talk about the books book or books I couldn't get into and maybe the book that surprised me the most. So that's something you can look forward to at the beginning of each month for the month prior. And I hope you enjoy this. Happy reading. And I will talk to you later. Bye.